Hi, welcome to another Philbold Photography Tutorial. Uh, I have a quick one today about color profiles and uh, the DNG profile editor that you can download from Adobe Labs. Uh, this is something that I've gotten into because I realized that my some of my colors weren't coming out right, uh, especially reds were coming out with a slight magenta um, cast to them, and it wasn't a white balance issue. So I decided that I should get my colors under control and I went out and bought a color checker card you can buy those online from Amazon, they're anywhere from about ten to about sixty dollars, maybe a little bit more and you can get different packages from different companies that include different things when you get that color checker card, it's a standard card um, you need to also get uh, the DNG profile editor uh, or at least you do if you're shooting in RAW uh, the way I do, I like to have the camera output everything into an Adobe DNG file and this helps, uh, this profile editor helps me get all these color profiles straightened out. Now for each lens um, and camera combination you'll need a new color profile and you create one in the profile editor. This is the um, the software that you download from Adobe. You go, you go to uh, this website, I'll put it in the description and download the profile editor and when you pull it up, you go to the chart um, option and it asks you to open a photo of your color checker chart. So I'll go open that. Um, I took these this morning. I'm going to use this one. And what I did was I shot this color checker chart in with, with a studio light. Um, just laid it down on the floor and it will compensate for the white balance um, but it was basically 6000 odd Kelvin white balance just typical sort of daylight studio light temperature um, but it's going to compensate for that because it's got these neutral toned um, swatches along the bottom and what you do is you drag these colored um, this is the automatic way to do it you drag these colored spots onto the checker card so that that way it knows where all of the um, swatches are and they're all in a standard arrangement and so there you go, um, I'm, I'm doing both color tables, there's two different uh, color temperature tables and I only shot this under the daylight uh, so I want to use this calibration for all color temperatures and then go ahead and create color table um, it says it's going to clear all the existing adjustments that's fine um, and it builds this um, table for me. Now that's not the last step, you would need to go to File and Export and it gives you an option uh, to name it. When you export it, that's how you will then use these color profiles when you're using Photoshop or Lightroom. So let's assume I hit the Export button. Um, I've already done this for two different lens combinations, uh, a couple of my favorite lenses. thought I'd do those first. So let's close out of this um, and I'll go to Photoshop and open up an image just to give you an idea of, um, of how it's different. So let's pull open this image. I've already done the white adjustment on it um, fairly closely. Um, the, the wall in the background is a little bit on the warm sort of beige side because it really wasn't a neutral color. <laughs> but in any case, what was bothering me originally was that the reds were coming out with a slight magenta look. So if I go to camera profile I can show you the difference. Um, you, you may not be able to see it with the compression of the video, and it, it's quite a subtle thing. But the, um, the reds here in the shirt um, are slightly magenta looking. Um, now I have the option in camera profile of going and picking the lens I used. In this, on this occasion, it was the FA50, and there it goes. It straightens that out and gives it the um, the real version of, of red. Now, of course, camera. Uh, uh, monitor calibration is going to be important too if you're just looking at things and judging things and, and twiddling with um, you, with hue and saturation but in this case um, without having my monitor calibrated I now know that this is the correct color so um, so that's a good way even without monitor calibration um, if you're doing product photography that kind of thing of, of just making sure you've got the colors displayed correctly uh, so I'll need to go and create more for the other lenses that I have. Um, there's not that many that I use on a regular basis. And, and this will help a great deal for me um, instead of having to try to judge by eye and, and um, uh, using the hue and saturation sliders 
to get things right I can just use the uh, the correct camera and lens profile so anyway this is this is how I did it it's the easy method uh, it's fairly automatic you just uh, line the uh, picture of the of the card up using that camera and lens combination um, and it works for Lightroom and Photoshop hopefully that's been helpful